All right, what is going on guys? I am back again with another video and this is for another highly anticipated collection that I've been looking forward to getting to. Looking forward to getting. And this is the Phantasm Box Collection. Now the Phantasm Box Collection, I know this has been talked about for years. You know, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, when are they gonna release all five movies on, um, you know, DVD, but they pretty much went on past that and just released all five on uh, Blu-ray. And um, I know whenever people were talking about it, that was like when they just had four movies, but I guess the whole plan was to release, you know, all five of them once they got their, the fifth, you know, the fifth and final film done. But um, yeah, now that it's out, you know, it was, it was definitely worth the wait. You know, that's how the whole set looks right there. You know, the box. And you got the five movies, you actually got six discs in here. You got uh, the five movies plus five movies and then you get this little book here. We'll go back to that. Now the five movies, boom, you get part one there. You got a little sphere, Roman numeral one. And pop this bad boy open and Behind the first disc, you get the cover of part one. You know, part one was where it all started. You know, it was like the very first independent, dark, like dream, nightmare type movie about this, you know, tall figure. And I always thought that was good. You know, like good execution of like a independent story. You know, not too much gore, not too much over top effects, but just the overall good story and imagery and music. And here's part two. Part two is more uh, heavily action based. You know, they even replaced uh, the original actor. Actually had a younger guy play as him. They wanted to be more like a action type movie. And that's where, you know, Reggie started, you know, pulling out that four barrel shotgun. And next up, let's see, is part three. You got the cover there, Lord of the Dead. And this kind of picks up where part two left off with the action. You know, Reggie blasting them little minions away again. You also introduced to Rocky. There she is with the nunchucks on the back. And part four. Part four here. This one was kind of the uh, underrated one. Or I'd say people were kind of disappointed with as a cover of it. Uh, I actually like part four. You know, it was kind of like back to uh, the essence of part one. It actually used a lot of scenes from part one to kind of retell the story of the tall man. And this one actually gives that origin of him, you know, where he goes across this dimension. And I don't know this, you know, the scientist that comes back is like this new tall man. So it's more of like an origin story, you know, it kind of took a break from all the action in that one. And um, last but not least is, uh, oh, here it is, part five, uh, Ravager. And there is six discs, uh, you know, there's part five and then there's this bonus disc here. Uh, I guess that bonus disc has like some um, different type of, uh, you know, commentary on the movie behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, part five, it, it got kind of mixed reviews. Overall, I did like the story too. It was kind of a bittersweet ending, you know, knowing that the tall man, you know, Anger Scrim has uh, passed away. It was kind of a kind of a good way to end the, in the series as best as it could. And you got some good cameos in there. Um, but yeah, my favorite of the series is probably like a tie between one and two. You know, I do like part three. But uh, yeah, it's really good that they did release all these movies now. You know, you got them all four together, five together. Because um, for the longest time, even to this, this day, like a lot of the DVDs are online. They're, they're, they go for really high prices because um, a lot of them are out of print. So a lot of people try to charge like out the ass for them. But uh, here's a little booklet for uh, the whole set, series of movies. It has a um, little interview with Michael Baldwin, um, some interviews with uh, Reggie, as well as uh, Cat Lester, that lady in lavender, and also do, has a nice little uh, talk about uh, the tall man in there, Angus Grimm. So it's a nice little box set. You know, you get six discs in here, 
and you get this little booklet as well as a as well as a little poster. I think that's cool. Let me pop that thing open. Kind of hate opening these things because they always are hard to fold back. But let's see, the fifth poster is basically the uh, box set. Thing. Bam! Oh, never mind. Hold on. And then there is this. Uh, which I also have is the uh, Phantasm uh, remastered version. So I'm not sure if that's the same one on this one or the uh, individual that I bought a few uh, months ago. So there you go. That is the whole box set collector's edition of Phantasm 5. So I'm definitely glad that they, uh, you know, wrapped up the series and they've got it all in this box set. It's definitely one of my favorite, uh, you know, horror movie series of all time. But yeah, that's the whole set, guys. And uh, yeah, if you haven't picked that up, make sure you get that whole set if you're a fan of the series. Even if you're not, you know, go ahead and watch it and maybe you'll become a fan. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, just subscribe to my channel, guys, and I will see you guys later.